news. I'm joined now by Moses Aqua, CEO of Afrolink, a Berlin-based company that promotes African-European business ties in tech. Hi, Moses. Lovely to talk to you. Tell me, Kenyan startups seem to really be leading the way when it comes to drawing investors. What is the country doing right? Thanks for having me. Um, the Kenyan uh, government is really doing one thing that is super unique, and that is engaging actually entrepreneurs to come up with the right policies. And I think that is something that has driven both the technology and innovation to the next height and attracting actually investors to come in feeling at ease and knowing that the policies are right for them to invest in. Okay, and now fintech companies in particular are seeing huge growth at the moment. Why is this industry thriving right now? Um, the, the main reason why fintech is actually thriving so much is because most of African countries, they actually have been built on what we call a prepaid system, whereby you need to pay before you get a service. And that actually makes fintech an underlining, um, uh, I would say, innovation or an underlining sector that is very important. Likewise, the banking system were always used to the fact that they used the old system where there was less innovation. And that means that people had to actually walk to the bank before they can get the service. Now, fintech comes in and change the whole way of doing things. And that is actually making it possible and even more attractive for a lot of services to come back online. And now we can actually see that even during this pandemic, there's been a lot of investment going into FinTech because more people are restricted from getting into contact with each other, but they want to do business, they want to engage more. And so this is actually the reason why FinTech is actually striving more in this uh, current era. I want to talk a little bit more about that resilience that you mentioned, because it's not just fintech startups that are doing well. A lot of other um, industries have also been thriving despite the pandemic. What is behind this growth? Um, one thing I would say, and uh, I commend a lot of African entrepreneurs, you know, when there is a challenge, it actually brings opportunities. And that's something that a lot of African entrepreneurs have known, if not by from birth. And so when challenges like this happen, they are used to already understanding that anytime there is a challenge, there is an opportunity. And again, a lot of these African entrepreneurs have even become more innovative. So the innovation plus the ease of access to technology has actually made it more interesting. And again, at the end of it all, is how do you reach your customer at ease? And this is something that they are doing very well. And this is actually paying back greatly for them. All right, so a little bit of a bright outlook there for once. Moses Aqua, thank you very much. Thank you so much.